review of the Star Wars Rebel uh, Stormtrooper Blaster. Included is the blaster itself, a barrel extension, the priming handle which snaps on, three leap darts, and the instructions. This just clicks into place. I bought this from Target for about 20 US dollars. So I'll go over the externals, show you how it works, show you the firing, and then give you my opinion. Starting with the front, it does have a detachable barrel extension, which is this. It has a giant hole right here because this is a front-loading uh, spring blaster, so you actually place a dart in and then shove it into the barrel through this little barrel extension. The cosmetics of it are unique. Unlike most of the Elite Blasters, it does look pretty cool, and this does go on to any Nerf Blaster. It is the same in-strike attachment. However, unlike most in-strike attachments, it doesn't have a little uh, detachment notch down here. This means it's locked in, and it's not going to fall off if you shake it, but when you shake it, it rattles a lot, and it's not very secure. It still shakes around a little. And that's, again, because it doesn't have the little male nub to go into the female nub in the blaster right here. It's only wobbly on other blasters. When it actually detaches onto this blaster, it's very smooth and very solid. Moving back, here's the priming handle to prime this blaster. You just pull back on the slide. The prime is pretty smooth, but since it's a springer with a very light draw weight, it would be pretty difficult to mess that up. The scope up here doesn't magnify or anything. You can see through it, but it's rather difficult to aim with it. Um, it's kind of a nuisance to actually get your face down there to look through that, but I think the sight looks pretty cool. To the grip, it's a pretty comfortable grip. It seems like a, a comfortable size. This little notch is a little too close to the handguard, so it's a little uncomfortable for me, uh, but maybe that's because I have big hands. To the trigger, it's a pretty sloppy trigger, to be honest. It doesn't feel good at all. It does its job just fine. It just doesn't feel very smooth or comfortable. Moving back, here's the stock. This is not detachable, but it is um, collapsible. You can't put this on any other Nerf guns, and it does not have an in-strike attachment point for other stocks. But as you can see, this is the extended position and then you can pull it forward like that. It doesn't really lock into place all that well. It's sort of flimsy plastic, but you can detach it if you wanted to store it or something like that. In the extended position, it's very flimsy. Um, when you compress it, it flexes and it moves down. It's not usable as a stock at all, or this might happen. I will show you the blaster firing. Duplicate 45, 44, 47 feet per second. So as you can see, the performance is an absolute joke. It doesn't fire well at all. It's a single shot blaster that's a pain in the butt to load. The priming is not particularly fast. The loading's not either. It doesn't feel like it breaches well at all. Um, it's a fun looking blaster, but it's not designed very well at all. My opinion, if you couldn't tell from the video so far, is terrible. I don't like this blaster at all. I bought this just as a joke and I wanted to see if this would fit on other stuff. It does. It's kind of shaky, as I mentioned. It doesn't have the male uh, nub to go into other blasters, but it will fit. But overall, it's a replica blaster that's supposed to look like something else. It's not supposed to be a performance Nerf gun. And the box doesn't even advertise in big letters that it's a Nerf gun. It's just a Rebel prop made by Nerf, and it specifically says that. So if you're trying to actually play Nerf guns, I would not recommend this at all. The price, in my opinion, is too high for what you get. It's not a well-made blaster at all. It looks okay from a distance, but when you get up too close to it, it doesn't perform well. The stock is flimsy. Everything is flimsy. It doesn't shoot very well, and it doesn't look particularly realistic to any movie prop. But even to buy it for the front extension, I would suggest you don't, honestly, because it rattles so much on any other Nerf guns. I would recommend a Spectre for that function. The, the barrel extensions look very similar, and Spectres are around the same price. I know a lot of my viewers don't really care about crop stuff like this, but I saw it on Target and wanted to review it out of curiosity. Um, so that's my review. Again, probably wouldn't recommend this at all, but just in case you're curious, there's the review. You will have more consistent shots, which allows you to actually shoot harder and further than without coding. And moving back, I also added a lower resistance switch, as you can see there. That's just a push button momentary.